All right. I am a big fan of do-overs and redos. If one is presented with new information, or if the first attempt really was not all that great. Of course, I'm only really a fan of second chances. However, that is what we are going to have here. You see on your screen, we have a JVC Video Movie VHSC. And I'm sure everybody's familiar with this camcorder. This is the JVC GRC7. We can go ahead and put it down. Lift this up. We got batteries. We have cables. And then if we lift this up, you can see we have the camcorder itself as well as the power supply. We can go ahead and get this out of the case and we'll have a little closer look at the camera. Alright, so here's the camcorder. You can see there is the infrared focusing system. All camcorders of this vintage pretty much used that if they had an autofocus system. You see the microphone there on the bottom. Foam is kind of falling apart, but it's still there. There's no lens cap. You see autofocus, which really actually doesn't do a whole lot because these older camcorders were really more intended for far away shooting as opposed to close ups. They have a macro mode, but it's not a very good macro mode. Um, and for a lot of things, you have to use the macro mode in order for it to work. So like if I were positioned right here with this camcorder, I would be using the macro mode because I wouldn't have a choice. So here we have our playback controls as well as the power switch. SP and EP, tape speed, headphone and micro, uh, sorry, headphone and remote control outputs as well as the AV input and output. There's a tape counter here, reset, memory, eject, there's a little tape door on the back, this is where the battery goes as well as the DC input, there's some information, you can pause the video if you want to read it, assuming that the video compression doesn't completely destroy it. There's a record switch on the back, this is for the viewfinder right here, which is actually removable. Power zoom, tracking control, you can see it says right there VF for viewfinder. I believe there's supposed to be a thing here which would be what this hand strap would attach to but unfortunately it's gone so this hand strap is just kind of floating on with this little piece here so I don't even think that's attached correctly. I've got it looped around the lens right now. It works but it's probably not what it's supposed to be. The first thing that you'll note about this camcorder though is not just that it's in perfect condition, well almost, there's a couple scratches on it, but you'll notice the bright red. But what I'm about to show you is a definite stark contrast to that bright red. Wait a minute, this isn't red, what is this? It is a Zenith VM6200. VHSC camcorder. Same deal. In fact, it is the identical camera. Works exactly the same way. All the controls are exactly the same. They might look a little different because they got different colors, such as, for example, the power switch. Which you can see there is a gray. And you can see here is a blue. This is just normal. The foam is gone. That's typical for these. I mean, you got to remember these are from the mid 1980s. Uh, I don't know when either of these would have been made. Online dates suggest 1985, 1986. Neither of them has a date code on it. This one's not in nearly as good a shape. You can tell that it's certainly been used quite a bit more. Compact VHS. Autofocus, which is different from what that says. It does say VHS CHQ on it though. Slightly different warning label. But I believe that one's the same. It's the same layout. I think this is a slightly brighter shade of red. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Hold on a second. I can look. It's right here. Yeah, it's a brighter that's a brighter shade of red. It's actually more of an orange than it is a red. And I've also forgotten one other detail. It is the fact that the record switch is black on this and red on that. 
But nevertheless, the controls are once again exactly the same, like I had said previously. The VF indication is right there, instead of right up here. But all the other controls are the same. This is broken. Uh, unfortunately, the viewfinder on this camcorder is junk. Uh, the holder is broken, but that's not really the point. This viewfinder itself, the cable is... Well, I think it's obvious that the cable is broken. Uh, if you bend this in the right way, there's a break somewhere in here. If you bend it the right way, it will work. But it's kind of annoying. I'd also like to point out that the power zoom does not work on this camcorder either. So I believe this one also had an issue where this broke so somebody had fixed it. Which is fairly nice of them to do. But it's got a lens cap. I mean, come on, you can't leave it there if it's got a lens cap. So anyway, before all my sunlight disappears, I think I'm going to go ahead and record video on both these camcorders and give you a little demonstration. Alright, we are now recording on the JVC GRC7. Again, this should be a fairly familiar sight to people. This is the power zoom. see the focus mechanism working. I'm not sure how in focus it is. This is a rather highly used uh, viewfinder, so the focus on the viewfinder isn't very good. I'm going to have to adjust it, more than likely. Of course, I don't really know what is and is not good. It's complaining of low light. Alright, which is actually probably true. So here is the non-powered zoom, just a quick example, which completely destroys all the focus because that's too close. Be better if I didn't move it there. Here you can see the focus working. Even in low light, it seems to focus fairly well. Let's get some macro shot. So down here, as I knock over the case the camera came in. Right here is the uh, the Zenith camera. So if I can enable macro mode, we can get a close-up of this. And there's the camera I was using to shoot the first part of the video. It's probably only barely visible because, again, the lighting isn't too great in here. It's not really good. This camera is... It's got an early CCD image sensor in it, uh, very early CCD. Um, I know the GRC1 that this would have been closely related to would have had a tube picture sensor. And I probably would have preferred a tube in one of these because these early CCDs are not very good when there is less than adequate lighting. So I think there's a pretty good example of what the GRC7 can do. Let's go ahead and move on to the VM6200. Alright, here is Zenith VM6200. Again, as mentioned previously, my viewfinder is uh, kind of flaky. I'm holding the cable right now, so that way it will work. But it's not really doing too good of a job. And my power zoom does not work at all. Oh, I lost my viewfinder. Hold on a second. There we go. Now it's back. So let's do some zooming. See how well the infrared focus works. Well, it was working a lot better earlier. Do I have it in manual focus mode? I don't think so. I think it would tell me if it was in manual focus mode. There we go, now it's in focus. I think something was loose, that was why it wasn't working too well. It just tightened a uh, Tighten something on the lens. And you can see it. It's definitely complaining about the lighting. Not very happy about that. Let's do some more zoom. Feel it focusing. He's trying to.
Maybe the focus mechanism is loose. I'm not sure. Anyway, now we're back inside. Oops. There you can see the two cameras. There's the JVC right there. Oh, sorry, that's the JVC. I was looking at a clock radio. That's the JVC, and that is the Panasonic that I was using to shoot the first part of the video. So it's working. I don't think there's really anything else I can think of to tell you. So on that note, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off, and I hope to see you next time. Till then.